According to Source, Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift have a more serious relationship as they celebrate Halloween together. People were informed by an insider that they both have a strong family bond and values. According to a source, Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey's romance appears to be burning rare that things between the 33-year-old singer of Cruel Summer and the 34-year-old tight end for the Kansas City Chiefs are becoming more serious. It's getting serious really rapidly. They both have a strong work ethic and a deep respect for both their professions and life in general. Solid family ties and morals, the insider said. The source continues, Kelsey is also adorable, hilarious, and a joy to be around. A day after Swift and Travis attended the Kansas City Chiefs vs. Los Angeles Chargers game at Royd Stadium, the two went out to eat on Monday night at the Argentine Steakhouse Perros in Missouri, after the Chiefs' victory against the opposition on Sunday. According to Travis's father, Ed Kelsey, the karma singer is an incredibly kind, endearing, and grounded young lady. Ed, who spoke with the musician known as Lavender Hayes in a suite at Aeroid Stadium on October 12, stated that his first opinion of Swift's genuineness was confirmed after their meeting. It speaks of Swift, saying, I'll tell you something very special that I noticed about Taylor the first time I met her. She gets up and goes into the front room while we're seated in the suite. Everyone in the suites gets things, and you empty it down wherever you can. So when she gets up to get a drink or something, she starts picking up empty bottles and plates that are lying around. Ed continued, I just had the feeling that she missed the diva memo. That actually revealed a lot about Swift, in my opinion, that she didn't grasp the concept of the pampered musician and couldn't pull it off. This month, Swift and Travis have been seen in public quite a bit. They even spent three weekends in New York City. Travis talked candidly about his incredible weekend earlier this month, which included their amazing Saturday night live cameos during an episode of his new podcast, Eights with Jason and Travis Kelsey, presented by Wave Sports Plus Entertainment. Being back there was a lecture. There's just something special about the space and the fact that it was their first episode of the season. He thanked producer Lauren Michaels for having him and Swift, saying, I had such a freaking blast, man. Travis Kelsey spends Halloween with Taylor Swift. The NFL player remains incredibly coy over preparations for a dinner party and uncomfortable interactions with his brother in the most recent episode of New Heights. In the most recent episode of New Heights, Travis Kelsey hinted at a Halloween surprise by suggesting he would gather the group for an enigmatic dinner party all without mentioning Taylor Swift specifically. Amidst his burgeoning affair with Swift, who has attended four of Kelsey's last five outings for the Kansas City Chiefs, he has been drawing attention well beyond that of an NFL star. Prior to their appearances on an episode of Saturday Night Live earlier this month, the couple was also photographed out on a date night in New York City. So, on the special episode of the podcast, he and his brother Jason host, Will they be spending Halloween together? Travis was questioned about his celebration plans and costume idea. I'm going to let mine be a surprise, remarked the man. Just after Halloween, we'll discuss it. I'll make sure everyone sees it. We are going to gather the crew and have a beautiful little supper, or perhaps I should say dinner party. I'm pretty sure. What's going to happen? Inquired Jason. Yeah, responded Travis. Like a Halloween dinner party, everybody comes in costumes and we have a party, a Halloween dinner dinner party. But a Halloween party is not normally called a dinner party. No, Jason persisted in telling his brother. As you say, Travis was correct. We're going to eat since this is a dinner party. Are you heading out to eat? Or will it be at a house? Jason queried. Probably go to eat somewhere, Travis retorted. Before Swift embarks on her ears tour on November 9th, with Buenos Aires, Argentina scheduled as the first destination Kelsey is relishing his final few weeks with her. This coming weekend, when Kansas City plays the Denver Broncos, may be his last game as a member of the New Flames before she leaves on that tour. Swift has only been to one away game thus far, which was at the beginning of the month at MetLife Stadium, home of the New York Jets. In a recent interview with NBC Sports' Peter King, Jason provided some insight into how his younger brother Travis is handling the spotlight that comes with dating Swift. The Eagles star admitted, it's definitely been weird, the level that it is now. 
On the one hand, I'm glad for my brother since it appears that he is in a sincere and exciting relationship. There is another end to it though, where you're like, dude, this is a lot. Hours before 1989 was released, Taylor Swift looked preppy and went without pants while wearing an oversized rugby top and knee-high boots. Taylor Swift in a downtown setting was captured on camera. Her influence was felt in the album New York. The singer was spotted with pre-high boots, a Ralph Lauren corduroy cap, and an oversized rugby top reminiscent of Stella McCartney. Totally eschewing the jeans, Swift wore her long, golden hair straight and down. Page Six claims that the outfit has a certain Gossip Girl Serena Vander Woodson vibe to it. Swift wore the ensemble earlier in October, when she went to Hugh Jackman's condo, with her pals Blake Lively and Ryan Reynolds. That party also went to MetLife Stadium to watch Travis Kelsey's Kansas City Chiefs play the New York Jets. Swift recently gave some thought to the popularity of her concert film, Ears, which debuted earlier this month. What an absolutely incredible creation you've made out of the Ears tour concert film," she stated on Instagram. I've been watching videos of you guys in the theaters, dancing and prancing and recreating choreography, creating inside jokes, casting spells, getting engaged, and just generally creating the exact type of joyful chaos we're known for," wrote Swift. One of my favorite things you've ever done is that you encouraged me to establish the Ears tour only to honor the old days by showing your support for Cruel Summer. In addition to a brand new remix by Ag Gabi, I'm releasing the live audio from the tour so we can all scream it in the comfort of our own homes and cars. Thanks, always and forever. Whoa, I'm very grateful. On November 9, Swift will continue her international leg of the Ears tour. Taylor Swift wears a Stella McCartney dress and $35 hat with her 1989 boots. Swift was seen hanging out with Blake Lively, Ryan Reynolds, Hugh Jackman, and Sean Levy on Thursday while sporting the preppy look. Before Friday's release of Taylor Swift's 1989, she was very much back in her 1989 phase. Swift, 33, was seen leaving the box during the Jets' SL Chiefs game with close friends and other guests as they entered a brownstone in New York City. Hugh Jackman, Sean Levy, Blake Lively, and Ryan Reynolds all made brief appearances in the 10-minute All Too Well music video that was created specifically for the event. The Grammy winner accessorized her ensemble with oxblood leather knee-high boots and a $25-$25 leather micro-tods bag which she had last seen on a girls' night out with Selena Gomez and Zoe Kravitz. She also wore a preppy, oversized black polo shirt by Stella McCartney. She topped off her ensemble with a $35 Polo Ralph Lauren hat, a choker with a little heart pendant around her neck that seemed to read EM. His fans of Swifty Swiftly deduced that her ensemble may have contained Easter eggs from 1989. To start, her boots closely resembled the ones she frequently wore in 2014. The anti-hero singer also liked Todd's handbags in her early 1989 period. However, two Swift ensembles didn't exclusively reference 1989. She and McCartney worked together on a range of merchandise in 2019 that was inspired by her fourth studio album, Lover. Selena Gomez and Taylor Swift looked great together in high-rise jeans, a trend that isn't going anywhere. Similar sets are priced at $10. The singer-songwriter's get-together with friends is the most recent instance of her recent embrace of a preppy cool style. Her recent wardrobe choices may have something to do with getting ready to re-release 1989, but they may also be the result of her embracing game day casual looks ever since she started dating Kansas City Chiefs tight end Travis Kelsey last Sunday. When the Kansas City Chiefs played the Los Angeles Chargers, Swift dazzled the crowd in a vintage Chiefs hoodie and pleated miniskirt. She looked great in Aaron Andrews Chief's windbreaker that was red, black, and white the week before. But Swift doesn't limit her collegiate-style display to game days. She was wearing jeans, shorts, and a navy blue polo top at the beginning of September. She was also seen in a gray pleated miniskirts at an album release party in New York City that same month. Not to be forgotten is the springtime New York University sweater. Swift was once again, rocking the look just like her friends. On Thursday, Lively, 36, was also radiating a serious casual autumn vibe. The rhythm section actress accessorized with light wash mom jeans, vintage-style sunglasses, 
in a warm beige-gray cardigan over a ribbed shirt. Her quilted blue purse added a splash of color to complete her look. What thoughts on this? Subscribe to our channel for more celebrity gossip, and thanks for watching.